Hey gang, what is happening? This is Mud coming to you from uh, Ipska Bibble, New Hampshire. And uh, today we are actually going to glue up some super cool electric tops. And hey, I just want to say I'm rocking my Collins shirt today. So I just want to give a shout out to Nully and all the RV guys. Well, everybody at Collins, you know, just want to say hey and uh, just I'm representing. That's all. So today we're going to glue up these electric tops here. And I, I showed you in my last video me cutting up that big gigantic chunk of walnut that I had. And uh, these are some of the coolest tops. And you'll see when it's done, it's, it's super cool. It's almost like it's got a griffin in it. And uh, so this is the top we're going to put together right now. And then I've got another one that matches it. I'm actually going to build two guitars. One of the guitars is for a friend of mine, and then the other one is for this great guitar build-off. And uh, they're going to be sort of sister and brother, so to speak. All right, so I'm going to glue these tops together. And so what I got is I got my uh, bar clamps here. But in order to keep the metal and the glue, I'm not sure if you guys know, but you know, anytime you have metal and glue moisture and a piece of wood, especially certain species of woods, uh, it'll give you a black mark. If that metal and that glue are touching the same time, you'll get this black marks on the instrument and you cannot get them out. They sink in really deep. You have to take half the thickness off in order to do that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and tape my clamps off here in the center where the glue is actually gonna be. Like so, so that's cool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue my two sides. Now, I've already joined these out so they're really flat. And on these harder pieces of wood, what I like to do is I like to put glue on both sides. A lot of guys will just glue one surface, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue both surfaces on this. Don't need a whole lot of glue, but enough to cover it just to make sure that the adhesion is really sinking into the wood there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a bead of glue down both of these guys. What I look for when I'm gluing is uh, I like to be able to see the wood through the glue. So it's kind of translucent, but not so much uh, that it's too thin, you know. I just want to be able to kind of see the glue through the wood. And that tells me that there's enough on there. Yeah, baby, I like that. That looks good to me. Okay, so now, actually, uh, I am a little backwards here. There we go. That's what I want to have happen right there. Just like so. So I'm going to make sure I've got my ends lined up. You know, um, you want to be real careful when you're doing this kind of stuff. A lot of cats will try to line their... Um, grains up but the wood you know the book match is the book match i try to fold it out and just leave it the way it it wants to be you know the way it was originally i'm gonna go ahead and bring my clamps in here to a spot because this was such a nice piece of wood i cut i kind of pre-cut these body shapes out a lot of times i was trying to get as many tops out of it as i could but uh, a lot of times you will uh you will have a big nice rectangular piece and it's a lot lot easier to clamp when you're doing it like that but for me i was trying to save some wood so this is what we're doing so i'm going to get a good bite down all right cool hey and if you if you didn't notice here come here liam this is my buddy liam he's here helping me film today He's actually building an arch top at RV, so uh, he's uh, building a super cool guitar as well. Um, so anyway, say hey, Liam. I'm what you call a stooge. <laughs> actually, he's my cameraman today, so I wouldn't call him that, but he can call himself whatever he wants. Okay, so I got this thing glued up, and now really I'm just going to let this thing sit overnight, and then I've got another one just like it that needs to go together as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few minutes, then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna clean off all the glue that's kind of beaten up on there in order to save sandpaper when I get to the thickness sander, if you can dig that. Um, 
And I think that's about it for now. So I will show you some other stuff. We're going to make some templates and some other stuff here in just a few minutes. So, hey, what's happening, Mud? I'm back here. And uh, just really quick, want to show you uh, just cleaning this glue up. There's nothing that high tech about it. Uh, all I do is I take my little six inch ruler here and I do a little bit at a time. If you wait for this stuff to kind of tack up and beat up, it'll come off a little bit easier than if you try to do it when it's wet. A lot of times if you do it when it's really wet, it'll end up smearing and make it a bigger problem than it would have been had you not. Okay, so next step is we are going to glue this neck blank together. Um, I did the joiner rework on it just a few minutes ago, thus all the sawdust that I'm covered in. And I don't really want to bore you with watching me run a joiner or a sander or anything super dusty like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this thing up. And the same thing I did with the walnut, I'm going to do with the maple because it's such a hard wood. It's so hard that... Um, I like to glue both pieces. And again, I'm just trying to get that adhesion. Um, and on a, on a piece of maple, I'll actually take a paper towel uh, with a little water on it. And I'm just going to kind of moisten the surface that I'm getting ready to glue. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get two clamps on the bottom side of the neck to kind of hold it in place. Um, what that's going to do, that's going to allow me to actually stand this thing up. All right, so here it is, man. I've got my neck blank glued up. And again, I'm gonna let this sit overnight as well, 24 hours or at least, you know, 14, 16, 18. Um, you know, I just like to give it plenty of time to cure up. When you're doing, you know, wider surfaces, that glue that's down in the center, it really needs time to cure out. So uh, take your time when you're gluing things together and make sure that that stuff is as hard as it's supposed to be. Alrighty, so uh, I'm gonna move on to something else. I got to make some templates. So I think I showed you guys this. This is my uh, Mayhem body design. I modified it, a, you know, a bit for this new guitar. Um, so I'm gonna have to make a new template. I'm not gonna use this one because it would be wrong and a little too small. So this piece, a nice piece of swamp ash here, is actually going to become the back, the, uh, the main part of the body here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to actually get this piece of swamp ash um, cut out, laid out, and templates for us to not only cut the outside shape out, but also the chambers and the pickup cavities and uh, all that stuff that's going to go in there underneath of, the, underneath of the nice walnut top that's going on there. So, all right. What is happening? I am back. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a couple copies of the template of the uh, drawing here so I can make the templates for the external shape and the internal shape. So on the external one, I'm actually just going to trace the outside of the body shape here. And I could do this all in the same template, but once I do those cavities, it turns out, um, you know, it kind of weakens that template. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this one down right to the outside shape. And 
and then the one for the for the cavities and the hollowing out the main part of the body I will leave some extra around the outside I'll actually trace it out Um, the other thing I'm going to trace out here is my my pickup cavities and again what I will do is I will cut those out of the template that way I can actually use the template to route all of those things that are going into the top of the guitar as well not just the internal part of the body but the external part and I want to make sure when I do my cavities inside of this I'm not taking away the areas where I need to be able to screw my pickups in. So that's important. So that's why I'm kind of tracing the pickups on there. I'm also going to give myself a little reference mark for the pots, where the pots are going to be. Also the switch. And again, I will get um, <clears throat> my little plastic templates with the circles and those sort of things and actually draw this in really accurately. Right now, I just need the, to rough out this half inch MDF into my two templates. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little dragon tail F holes. I'm going to kind of rough those in and I have a template up in the Imperial Mansion that I'm going to use to actually trace them accurately on here, but I want to know where they go. So I'm giving myself some reference points here by just kind of roughly tracing those out. So basically I'm going to be making a copy of this drawing. You're right. Yes, I could have just taken this to Alpha Graphics or something like that and gotten uh, staples or something, you know, and gotten this thing copied, but I'll just do it by hand. Okay, so now I know where most of the stuff is. Actually, I'm probably going to add a, a second volume knob over here somewhere, which I don't have in, so I'm going to trace that in. And I'm not 100% sure, but I might put a chicken head up here with a variable with my uh, uh, Veritone switch up in here. So I'm going to kind of sketch those in. So now I've got my two template, I've got my two drawings that I need to actually cut the templates out of this piece of MDF. So now I'm going to go ahead and roll up my old one here. I'm going to grab a razor blade and I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to get some uh, spray adhesive and I'm going to spray and stick these things right to this MDF so I can uh, so I can cut these bad boys out. Alrighty, here we are. Now I got my paper templates cut out. Ah, just close, doesn't need to be perfect. I'll do that on the bandsaw and the sander. And then uh, I'm going to glue them down to this surface here. So all I'm going to do is take some spray adhesive and I'm going to spray the end of this MDF. It's pretty good stuff, but it's kind of low tack. It's sort of just the run of the mill stuff. It sprays out really well. Some of the high tack stuff is really stringy and I'm just trying to stick a piece of paper to a board so it's not like I need to go crazy. And when I'm sticking paper on these guys, I'll generally do it uh, while it's still tacky. Um, that way if I don't like where it is, you can pull it up and put it where you want it. So there's that guy there. And that's cool. Just gonna interlock this dude here. All right, so there's my two templates that I've got on there. Now I gotta cut them out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my jigsaw and I'm gonna cut this close first, and then I'll finish up on the uh, on the bandsaw there. So.
what's happening it's mud what is up my doodles and poodles I have this uh, walnut here and I've got the ash and I'm getting ready to cut this stuff up into the shape of the guitar we'll just get some basic cuts done today and it should be pretty cool I've got them clamped up here so they wouldn't curl up on me wood has a tendency to do that as a lot of you cats know and uh, I don't want it to happen to me alrighty so I think first things first I've got my ash here and what I want to do is I'm going to trace out my template right on this guy and uh, get this uh, get this going so here's my template and I'm going to do kind of the V coming into the neck here here we go so I'm going to set this on here it's going to look pretty groovy Liking it, Sayama. Okay, there's that. So I made this template. This template's been, uh, you know, for the outside shape. And then I made this template here because we're going to do some semi hollow stuff. I'm going to do a couple of different layers in there for the F hole and where the pots and stuff are. Plus, I want to hide all the wires. So I got some little tricks up my sleeve for that. So we're going to set those aside. And I'm going to go ahead and trace this out. Now this is actually going to be the top of the guitar. And this is the, let's see, yeah, this is the show side is here. So this is that really nice walnut I showed you last time. So this one, I want to make sure that I trace out right on the center lines here. Okay, so I got that traced out, but let's worry about this today. We're just going to do the ash for now. This is going to be a little noisy, and uh, I just wanted, this is a really nice, that nice swamp ash that I got from Steve up there in Northern California, so uh, here we go. We're going to fire this bad boy up. All right, so here we go. We're going to fire this up. It doesn't look like much now, but you wait. You'll see it later. Swamp ash, really nice and light, great tone. This thing's gonna be really awesome. So, all right, I will catch you cats later, and I'll show you as we get far along as I start routing this thing out, and uh, Coolio, peace. <laughs>